As we begin the transition to in-person learning for our secondary students, we wanted to provide clarity for our students and families on what the schedule will look like. This schedule was developed in partnership between the Bellevue School District and the Bellevue Education Association. In this video, we will go through a sample secondary schedule and outline key information our students and families will need to know. Please note that this schedule is just a sample. Your specific school schedule may vary depending on the bell schedule. Each day, students who are coming in person will complete their attestation at home. If they forget, they will be reminded upon entry where they will be screened by a staff member, temperature checked, and allowed into their school. When they get to school, House A students will go to each period one, two, three, four on Mondays for 55 minutes with the last few minutes of class dedicated to cleaning. On Tuesday, they'll go to periods five, six, seven, and community. House B students and virtual students will access their classes following the same schedule from home. To increase in-person time for students, they will now attend school on Wednesdays on a rotating basis. House A will attend the first two Wednesdays when we begin the hybrid schedule, and House B will attend in-person on the third and fourth Wednesday. On week one, for example, House A would follow their periods one, two, three, and four. Week two, they would go to periods five, six, and seven. And the next two weeks, House B would follow the same and they would attend their classes in person, periods one, two, three, and four in week three, periods five, six, and seven in week four. On Wednesdays, if it's a day where class periods one, two, three, and four are happening, school ends at 11. On Wednesdays for periods five, six, and seven, school ends after seventh period. On Thursdays and Fridays, Students in House B will attend their classes in person on Thursdays periods one, two, three, and four with 55 minute periods and five minute passing periods and Fridays periods five, six, and seven and a community period. And House A students and virtual students will follow the same schedule but accessing remotely from home. On Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, from 12 to 1 p.m., students will transition from campus to their home or another location. On Mondays and Thursdays, from 1.15 to 3.30, students in House A, House B, and virtual students will receive virtual learning opportunities. Teachers will provide these opportunities to individuals, small group, or whole group with an emphasis on intervention for students at risk of failing their course and enrichment opportunities. On Tuesday and Friday from 1.15 until 2.55, House A, House B, and virtual students will receive virtual learning opportunities. Learning opportunities will be for individual students, small group, or large group. And again, emphasize intervention for students at risk of failing their course, as well as enrichment opportunities. On Tuesdays and Fridays during community time, students will rotate through their periods to focus on SEL work, social emotional learning. During this time, students may participate in learning opportunities, particularly focused on mental health, social and emotional learning, and connecting with students and teachers. Our hybrid schedule was designed with safety in mind. Students are split into houses in order to limit the number of students in class each day, allowing for social distancing and other protocols to protect students and keep people safe. This also provides the opportunity to conduct contact tracing in the event that is necessary. Students have been in their House A or House B since the beginning of the year with the intention of an easy transition into hybrid. Students with virtual schedules, although their bell schedule is going to slightly change, the delivery of instruction will remain the same for the remainder of the school year. If you have further questions regarding this transition to in-person learning, please contact your school directly or utilize the Let's Talk feature on our website. Thank you.